Hey, <laughs> what's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I am Jacqueline Schultz. I have kind of a crazy, cool contraption to review and share with you today. I actually got so many comments and questions about this product because I purchased it for myself and I featured myself wearing it and my dad wearing it on my Instagram and the questions and DMs like just flooded my inbox. So I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to review it here for you. Without further ado, the product that I am going to be reviewing for you today is the Air Helmet by Microclimate. It is this funny, crazy helmet thingy that looks kind of like a spaceman helmet, but it is so stinking cool. All right, so this helmet is supposed to take the place of a mask and a shield or anything else you are wearing to protect yourself from coronavirus or literally anything else out there. As a matter of fact, this helmet uh, was created, I believe, before even coronavirus came into our lives and kind of like took over the world. So this was created not for coronavirus. This was created for other stuff, but I think it gained popularity obviously this past year and a half because of the coronavirus. What makes this helmet super special is that it is lined with HEPA filters, like the HEPA filters you know and you love that filter out pretty much everything. And it's like high grade, super advanced HEPA filters. Maybe I should look up what kind of HEPA filters. Hold on. I can't find it here on this little card that has facts about it, but I will look it up and put the information if I find it right here or right here or somewhere in this video. <laughs> to be exact, there are four HEPA filters that line this helmet. One up here, one over here, one down here, and one down here. So it filters all the air that is coming through the helmet. It also filters all the air that is going out of the helmet, which is amazing. It's kind of like the equivalent of, have you seen those like crazy medical grade space suits, like the toxic hazardous space suits that those doctors wear or whatever? It is equivalent to that in terms of filtering the air coming in, but it's even better because I don't think those spacesuits filter the air that's going out, which means if you are sick or you have coronavirus or something like that, and you are dealing with someone who has underlying health issues or is autoimmune compromised or anything like that, you don't have to worry about getting them sick if you're wearing this. Also, just like any other filtration system, you can change out these filters. So you can remove them after it's been a while of using it. And when I say a while, like I mean months and months, depending on like how often you use this, but you can order new filters and replace them if necessary. Now I wanna try to show you the inside. I mean, I could take this whole thing off. This thing completely comes off so that you can wash it if you want to. It is machine washable but I think I'm just gonna pull these out so you can see it. There are three soft, squishy pads that are Velcro, that you can Velcro to the top of this helmet on the inside so it is comfortable to wear and your head sits securely in these soft, squishy foam pieces. And they're very easy to, again, take out or put in or wash or whatever you need to do with them. Another question that people asked me when I was wearing this was how about this glass? It's not glass, it's like plexiglass. It's like plastic, I guess. But if this fogs up, because that's technically the case most often, when you're wearing something over your face and you're breathing in there, it would fog up. However, this is the cool thing about this helmet. There is a little switch right here on the helmet and you just turn it on. There are two different settings. There, I turned it on, that's low and that's high. I don't know if you can hear it, but when you turn it on, it activates fans that are inside the helmet, which number one, keeps you cool so you don't get all sweaty and hot and uncomfortable when you're in there, but it also defogs the mask or makes sure that it doesn't fog up when you're breathing in there. It also comes with like a USB plug. I'll show you. 
This little cord, USB cord, that you can plug in to charge your helmet, just like any phone or device. You just plug it in and it charges. It doesn't take that long to charge, but once it's charged, it stays charged for like eight hours, 10 hours. It really depends if you have the fans on and how long you have the fans on and if it's like the top speed of the fans, but it can stay charged for like eight hours, sometimes 12 hours. Lastly, this fabric covers your whole head and your neck and it is a secure fit. Even if you have hair and stuff, it's a secure fit so that no air will get in through this fabric. Plus, it's really easy to put on and take off. I'll show you. It's probably not a great thing that I wore my hair up here because that may hinder how comfortable it is, but we'll see. I've never tried it with my hair up in this like messy bun. All right, slide it on like this. Let me adjust my hair so that I can figure, yeah, no, it's fine with the hair, it's fine. There are also these pull ties so that you can make it tighter. I have no idea how well you can hear me right now, but you can pull these to make it tighter so it stays comfortably around your neck and there's a seal right here so that no germs are going in through this neck or fabric piece. Now, I'm assuming you could probably hear me pretty well. I do not have the fans on, but I will turn on the fans so that you can see whether or not you can hear me even when the fans are on. Plus, you'll be able to see the fog completely clear up once the fans go on. Hold on, let me make some more fog so we can see it clear up. <sighs> I'm gonna make myself pass out by breathing so hard. <laughs> Okay, it is nice and foggy in here. I'm gonna turn on the fans and we will see it clear up right away. Voila, it's like magic. Ta-da! You can see my ring light behind me too. And I'm assuming you can still hear me pretty well. I am not yelling, I'm not screaming, I'm talking in my normal voice. And I think you can hear me pretty clearly. I don't know, you can give me a thumbs up if you can, or you can write it in the comments and let me know how clear it is when you're listening to me talking. I'm gonna turn off the fans. Huh. It might help to loosen these neck things first before try pulling it up over my head. There we go. By the way, it also comes with this little rag thingy. It kind of feels like one of those glasses cleaners that you get when you get a new pair of glasses. It comes with replacement little foam things that you can stick in the helmet. It also comes with a mask. I mean, oops. You don't really need the mask, obviously, if you're wearing the helmet, but it comes with one, which is cool. And it also comes with this carrying case in case you wanna take it with you wherever it is you're going. It's also one size fits most. So it's probably too big for a child and might wiggle around and be uncomfortable. My kids still love putting it on and still love wearing it because they think it makes them look like an astronaut, but it is one size fits most. There's not like multiple sizes for little kids and for adults and that kind of stuff. The only thing that I would suggest is that you get some AirPods or even just like, headphones, you know, the kinds that you stick in your ears that are attached to your phone if you're going to be using your phone a lot. Obviously, if you're getting a phone call, it's going to be a little bit challenging to like stick the phone up to your ear like you would normally do in order to take a phone call, which is why I'm saying it helps to have those AirPods or earbuds or whatever it is that helps you listen to your phone call or talk during a phone call. That's what I use. There's a ton of tutorials on their website, on the microclimate website. I can put the link in my description so that you can go check it out. One of the tutorials is how to wear your 
AirPods or your earbuds or whatever, but there's also tutorials on how to change the filters. There's tutorials on how to take this off and how to wash it. There's literally tutorials and answers to all your questions on there, probably doing a better job than I'm even doing in this review. I've seen a ton of people wearing these. Like I even saw Shaq wearing this in one of his Instagram posts where he was just at work, I guess, in between takes or on a lunch break, I don't know, but he was sleeping in this and I thought it was cool. That's where I first saw it. I also saw some music producer guy that I follow and he was in a crowded club and no one was wearing a mask or anything. And he was wearing this thing and his caption was like, who do you think is not getting coronavirus? So he was still parting it up or going to the events that he had to go to for work, but he was in the crowded space wearing this helmet and felt completely safe. Now I gotta tell you, this is not cheap. Like, if you're okay with the mask, that's way cheaper. This is a little bit pricey, but for me, it's totally worth it. Let me tell you a little bit about myself if you don't know me and you haven't been following me, but my dad is like the poster child for OCD, and let me just tell you, the apple did not fall far from the tree. So I have been having a ton of anxiety lately, specifically within this last year or year and a half. I have anxiety anyways, but coronavirus just like magnified it times 100. So I have been having a really hard time getting out and doing anything without having anxiety and panic attacks. So this has been extremely helpful for me because it gives me peace of mind and I can go do the normal things that I need to do and not have those extreme panic attacks. Granted, I do get some silly looks, but I'm okay with that because I know I'm safe and at least I'm able to get out of the house. Plus, I live in California where there's like tons of fires and stuff like that and there's always a lot of smoke when there's fires and unhealthy air quality. So I feel like now that I have this, this can help with a lot of things, not just coronavirus. However, <laughs> For most people that are not suffering with anxiety in the way that I have been suffering with anxiety, this probably would not be an everyday use type of thing. For most instances and for most people, they can just wear the mask and be totally fine. This I think would be great for higher risk situations if you're going to travel on a crowded plane for a long period of time. If you need to go into a crowded hospital or something for a long period of time and wait in a waiting room and you don't feel comfortable. Any of those higher risk situations or like I said, being a music producer and having to go to a crowded club or something like that, or a DJ or something, and there's tons of people all around you for a long period of time in an indoor space, then I think this would be amazing again. So with that being said, is this for everyone to wear 24 seven? Maybe not. Is this for some people to wear in high risk situations? Yes. I'm sure I'm leaving out some important details and information about this helmet. But if you have any other questions or wanna know more about this helmet, please feel free to leave your comments or questions in the comment section below and I'll try to answer them as best as I can. Like I said, I'm a big fan. I love it. I do not regret getting it at all. So I'm gonna put the link below so that you can go check it out for yourself if you're interested or know someone that might be interested as well. I think that is it for now. So thank you so much for watching and I will see all you guys again next time, next week, next Friday for the next review. Bye.